Well, howdy, and welcome back to the kitchen. You know, I told y'all here a while back that I was going to be sharing a few little finger foods, hors d'oeuvres, party favors, whatever you want to call it, that we can use during the holidays for our friends, gatherings, and y'all, y'all girls coming over, or whatever y'all do, or whoever you mix and mingle with. And today I'm going to do a quick little hors d'oeuvre that you use hard salami. And I had this sliced, uh, I usually do my meat on a one, but this is not a one. It's just thin enough that I can spread my stuff on it and roll it over and make a little finger food out of it. So you'll have to just guess at how thick you want it. You want some fresh asparagus. And isn't this the cutest little asparagus cooker? I got it at TJ Maxx for just, just a few dollars. And they're high if you buy them. It's all clad. Here's the pot. Isn't that cute? That's corn on four ears of corn on the cob real good too. I'm going to blanch my, um, well blanch it, yes. I just want to tenderize the asparagus. So I'm just going to put it into salted water and just let it cook just a little bit because what you do, you take your uh, salami and you spread seasoned cream cheese on it. Now you can make your own get your own eight ounces or whatever of cream cheese and soften it and add some chopped chives and jalapenos or uh, onion and garlic powder if you want to but I decided on this bunch I'm gonna do it with spinach and artichoke dip that's made from the Philadelphia cream cheese now I haven't tried this before I generally mix up my own good stuff so I'm just doing this to show you what your how you can vary it okay but the basic thing is your asparagus, your salami, and your cream cheese mixture. And then you're going to blanch your asparagus to get it tender, season it up a little bit. And you're, I'm going to put some onion and garlic powder and a little salt. And then I'm going to dry it really well. And I'm going to put it uh, a piece of asparagus and the cream cheese mixture. And I'm going to kind of roll it up. And I may have to put a toothpick in it, but I think the cream cheese will hold it. It makes a delicious finger food. Something different. And like I said, you can put whatever you want to in your cream cheese to flavor it to your taste and your liking. So, and I wanted to show y'all. Now, this is pretty tender asparagus, okay? And normally, I don't just cut the ends off. What, what I usually do is take it and wherever it breaks that is discarded or put in the freeze dryer to make asparagus powder and this is the part that's tender and good to eat have you ever had asparagus when you felt like you was chewing on a, a piece of uh, sugar cane or wood that just kept having strips of junk in your mouth that's what happens when you have the tough ends but i bought little tender so i really think that even the ends of this is going to even though you know they would break like that i think they're going to be okay but when I get them out, what I'm going to do is still cut it, and I'll eat that part by itself. And this other, the top part, will what will be in my little hors d'oeuvres. So I'm going to get this into the pot as soon as it starts to simmer and let it blanch a little bit. And then we'll come back and we'll put us some yummy little finger food together. Okay, I don't want to be sneaking anything by you, so I got me a big old fat garlic clove. And I'm going to squash it, and I'm going to put it in here with the asparagus, and just let it flavor. Boil into that water that I'm going to be doing it in, and it will flavor my asparagus with a little bit of flavor. How's that for adding some goodness to it? Okay, I just wanted to show y'all what I was going to do. I added me some garlic, and we'll uh, get this show rolling. Okay, y'all, I've got my asparagus out and my garlic that I boiled in with it. And I cut these ends off, and I will use them for something else. I'm not going to put them in here. Probably going to whiz them up, add some cream cheese to them, and make some kind of a dip and just let that flavor it. But all you have to do to make this is you take a piece of your thin salami. And like I said, I get hard salami, and I get it from the deli and have them slice it thin. And then you just want to put some asparagus on it. You're going to fold it over. 
and I think the cream cheese holds it. I can't, I hadn't made them in a while. And then I'm just going to lay it on my platter. And that's all there is to it. You just put your, whatever your choice of flavor is. They make cream cheese like this that's flavored with uh, jalapenos. You can have jalapenos on it. You can have whatever you want on it. But you just roll it up like a burrito. And you can chill it or you can eat them as soon as you make it. Or you could warm them if you wanted to. We always just eat them like this. I get them made and then they're just ready to eat. And what I did with this asparagus when it came out of the, uh, the pot and cooled, I went ahead and sprinkled it with a little bit of salt and a little bit of onion and garlic powder. That one's a little messy. But I'm just going to continue making these and I'll get them on my little pretty plate here, the one I had the bread on that my friend gave me years ago. This must have a piece of a, something hard in it. What I'm doing is just taking it and bending it over where it won't be hanging all off of the, the salami. If you get them too full, they're not going to stay together, so you have to work on that too. I'm going to keep making them, and I'll be back in a minute and show you my little platter full of goodie. Okay, here's the finished plate of the hors d'oeuvres. They're so easy to make. It's a different, little different take on uh, the traditional rolling it up in a tortilla, but they're absolutely delicious. It's a unique flavor. They're good and I love them. I love asparagus. And then, you know, by using the spinach artichoke flavored cream cheese, it just kicked it up a notch. So, y'all need to try this. Add it to your holiday list. Okay, so flip over to that section that says party or um, fun food or hors d'oeuvres. You have to learn how to spell that. And put this recipe in there. Now, I don't have a card. I've given you a method and you just need to know that you use thin sliced hard salami, flavored cream cheese. You can buy it flavored or you can put onion and garlic powder, a little bit of salt and pepper, and chopped up chives or green onions, Italian herbs, whatever you want in your cream cheese. You blanch your asparagus until it's tender but not mushy. And you put the cream cheese on there, you lay your asparagus on it, you roll it up, and you've got a tasty little order for your party table. Now I want y'all to try it and let me know. It just tickles me to death when y'all comment or send me an email or message me that you tried one of the recipes and you like it and it's a keeper. I told y'all, I don't tell you anything that I don't like because if I make it, if it's new to me and I make it and I don't like it, the video scrapped. I'm not going to promote something that I don't enjoy. So, and I look like I enjoy a pretty good bit, don't I? So y'all need to try this. Let me know how you like it, but it's good for your Thanksgiving get-together, for Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, whatever. A birthday party, a Tupperware party. You're always needing a different little something to fix for the people that's coming over. So y'all try it and let me know. And I'm going to be working on some more stuff, and uh, y'all will be glad you watched because it's brand new good recipes for you. The good Lord bless and keep y'all. Be thankful. Be grateful. Give Him some thanks for what He's doing. Spend time with your family. Lay your phone aside. Turn it off. Ignore it. Give your family an hour or so around the dinner table and make some memories. I'll see y'all right back here tomorrow with something brand new. The good Lord bless you.